What do you think? I need a getaway. Me too. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> been on my mind sick and tired of the nine to five in the city light hey darling we could get out of town see the beautiful world around wanna see it now pack our bags and get in that car Leave a little note and we'll drive real far Let's get out, we can leave this city tell by now we are off on an adventure and we're not telling you yet where we're going because we want to give you a chance to um, guess now I know everybody in our church knows where we're headed so <laughs> but if you're not in our church you don't know so where are we headed we did stop it is about it's almost 10 30 we barely made it it's 10 24 and we've stopped for a quick little biscuit we're gonna share it because where we're going, we plan on eating a lot. So, we're just going to share as much as we can. So, where do you think we're headed? All right. We're going to enjoy this, and um, I'll see you in just a little bit. All right. I'm going to finish my little half of biscuit with a little piece of dessert. I don't know if you guys have ever had these, but they are super good. They're from Trader Joe's. I never go to Trader Joe's just because there's not one close and the one that is in Greensboro is hard for me to find. I just, I don't go unless I'm in Winston because I know where that one's at and I know how to get to it. Um, but I'm going to eat one of these. These are super good. Jessica brought them to me or sent them to me. And um, so we're going to try them and I know I like them. Have you ever tried them? Never had. We're going to let Brian try them. I love them. Let's see what Brian thinks. Has anyone guessed yet where we are? We are currently located in on a, Meeting Street. In an elevator. In an elevator. <laughs> but we're on Meeting Street. Can you guess? Well, here we are. We have finally arrived at our destination. We're going to show you where we're at. Okay, here we go. Move with us. We're turning. We're Move turning. with us. We're here turning. we go. Here we go. Welcome to... Charleston. Charleston, South Carolina. We're going to be hanging out here for the next two or three days. We're going to take you on the tours with us. We're heading to Pugin's Porch tonight for dinner. Uh, on Sunday night, I think we're heading to Hank's Restaurant uh, downtown and a few more places to go. We're going on a few tours, and so hang tight. We're taking you with us. We want to do a um, her, uh, Fort Sumter, mm -hmm. a plantation. Mm -hmm. And a right. carriage, a carriage. Right. There's Miss Leslie getting us ready, booking out our days. And so this young lady at the visitor center is helping us out. Her name is Elizabeth. We just walked past the famous Hyman's restaurant and they stopped us and gave us a, I guess it's a hush puppy. And I'm going to try it. 
It's so sweet. It is sweet and good. Mm-hmm. So good. Having a great time so far. Okay, everyone, we're taking a carriage ride. Your destination is on the right. Okay, guys, we're taking a carriage ride and we are going to just see the things that we want to come back and see and explore so we're taking this carriage tour so come along with us there I always start my tour out talking about religion We'll switch to politics here in a little bit. <laughs> Let's not. Let's not. <laughs> As a rector of an Episcopal church. Um, I'm going to go to the bathroom first before we start. We are all only one human species and deserve uh, the same treatment. Buried at his pulpit. Still at his pulpit to this day. Okay, La, Ma La Macaron over there is a place I want to go and get some pastry so we can have in the room with this us. The macaron, La Macaron, macaron. French pastries. Let's go see what they got. Okay, we got a tiramisu macaron, not to be confused with a macaroon. They are different. They are? They are different. So, And then we also got um one's chocolate filled and one is berry filled beignets right. so we're going to give take a bite a and give them a try right, this is the chocolate i can feel this is the chocolate do i have white on my mouth you did <laughs> all right give us a rating it's like the hazelnut chocolates pretty good mm -hmm. okay all right, let me give the berry one. The berry one, here we go. Is that a, is that a blackberry? I believe raspberry. Really? I'm not sure. All right, and the tiramisu, the tiramisu, what'd you call it, a macaron? Macaron. I've never actually had a macaron. Okay. Let me see your southern charm. That's good. Now let's see what you think. All right. All right, my turn. Here we go. That's very good. It's very uh, light and very light. Very light. Yeah, I like that. A cup of coffee with that would be really good. All right, the chocolate beignet. Mm -hmm. I really like that one too. That's really good. Right, here we go. All three are so good. <laughs> I'd say my favorite was the chocolate beignet. Yep. Really good. Okay, everyone, we're fixing to uh, go over the bridge everyone associates with um, Charleston area so it's an absolutely gorgeous bridge absolutely beautiful look at the sailboats yes new cars people can walk on the side of this bridge USS something out there. I, I can't see. A, I think it's the USS York. Brian thinks it's the USS York. I'm not sure what it is, but here we go. That is the deepest port on the southeast. In the southeast. Matter of fact, I think it's the de deepest port in America right now. Deepest port. That did not bring me any comfort. <laughs> um, it says straight ahead.
Let's go up and check out our Airbnb. We've just arrived, so we're gonna see how to get in and then we'll give you a tour. Let's go in. Isn't it adorable? It's like a, it's above the garage apartment, mm -hmm. Airbnb. Guest quarters. Guest quarters, yes. We have a bathroom mm -hmm. right here. There's a restroom. A nice, nice spacious mm -hmm. living area. Living spot, great living spot, yeah. An adorable kitchen. A kitchen with a cooktop, refrigerator, microwave. We're gonna go get some coffee. Yes. Look at the bedroom. Beautiful. I gotta figure out how to use the blinds. That's simple. We'll figure it out. <laughs> this is amazing. I was dozing a little bit and Bryant turned into this place. He says, I'm gonna run into this store. He goes, I gotta make a pit stop. He goes, I'm gonna run into this store and get us some soft drinks. I'm not sure they're going to have soft drinks. So where's the soft drinks? <laughs> this is not funny. We don't have a whole food store. And I've just had the biggest letdown. There's no Coke products. There's no Pepsi products. There was no Splenda. Oh, this is hilarious. Do you want to know what I come out with? <laughs> Pop. Just what I needed. <laughs> I had a craving while I was in there. <laughs> this is not funny. It's hilarious. Let's find a real grocery store. Okay. Okay, everybody. We're standing in the four corners of law. And I don't know that I'll get this right. This is city law. City law? And I'm not exactly sure. That's probably county Law. Okay, they're renovating that, okay? Federal law. Federal law. And God's law. God's law. So it's known as the four corners of law here in Charleston. And it, we're at the corner of Broad Street and Meeting Street, right? Yep. Okay. If you ever come, cute little place. It's a neat place. There's a little carriage ride that we went on that a little earlier. Very, very insightful. Got to get familiar with a lot of the historic places. Hey everybody, we are fixing to go eat supper at Pugin's Porch. Yep. Do you know who Pugin is? Do you know who Pugin is? No idea. It's their little dog. Um, it looks like he lived about nine years. He was um, 1970 to 1979. There is a stone out front. I don't know that he's buried there or if that's just a memorial stone, but Pugin was the pooch, <laughs> the, the puppy dog that sat on the porch. So it's Pugin's Porch. So um, it has been sold the, since the owners of Pugin were there. It has been sold, I do believe, but they kept the name. And so we're gonna go in and see what kind of food they have. I hear they have the best fried chicken around. I don't know that we're getting fried chicken. You see? But that's what we've heard. As you can hear, it's pretty loud in here, so we'll give you the full commentary of our meal when we get back to the uh, Airbnb. I got the filet and a scallop potatoes with a wonderful cream sauce on it and some crab meat. And Bryant got the mahi mahi with a grass. Gra uh, <laughs> streak sauce on it collard greens and wonderful grits yep. I'd eat it with the cabbage I'd eat it with the grits Ha, ha, ha. 
That's delicious. Okay, <clears throat> so I thought we would give you our take on Pugin's porch. Okay, here we go. It was really, really good. Um, they brought out biscuits that um, they, they kind of have a sweet glaze sort of on, a sticky glaze on them. Not a, it was just enough to make you go, hmm, did they put sugar on that? It wasn't like super sweet. Um, we were told to get the fried chicken, but we didn't. Nope. And we probably wish we had. I was going to. He got the Mahi Mahi, which you, you guys have already seen it. And his was absolutely amazing. I thought his was really good. Um, the collard greens were good. The grits mm -hmm. were good. Everything on his plate was super good. I got the filet Oscar. Um, and it came with scalloped potatoes. And those scalloped potatoes were amazing. I mean, you kind of had that chewy charred cheese going on. It was so good. Um, my steak was a little bit tough, I thought. And he thought, he said it was grisly. Might have just been, even though it was a filet, it could have been just that cut of meat. Right. Um, and a lot of the toughness sometimes comes because I like mine done. Well done. <laughs> Not well done, but almost well done. So a lot of that could have been my fault. But it, it was super good. If we ever make a trip back to Charleston, would we go back? It's good enough for us to go back, but there's so many other restaurants we would want to try. We probably it's not like one of those that, oh, every time we gotta go to Charleston, we gotta eat there. We will we will definitely do a um a tour of restaurants every time we come, uh, unless we find one that just super stands out. And that just didn't. There are so many restaurants here. Yep. I mean, it is crazy how many restaurants are here. But I wish we had gotten the fried chicken because several people around us got the fried chicken. And it looked so good. And, and the bone-in pork chop. The pork chop looked, looked, looked amazing. Delicious too. Looked delicious. So, we may have just ordered the wrong thing. But they both were delicious. I can't say they were bad because they no, weren't. They, were, they were They were absolutely delicious. But there's so many restaurants here to try. I don't know that we would go back again next time. So we've got, we're going to Hank's this weekend. Yep. And we're not sure where else because we don't have reservations anywhere else. And this is a place you have to make reservation days, weeks, even months ahead of time. So I'm not sure where we're going to get in. But we'll get in somewhere. Yep. So, all right. Okay. Well, I'll be back in just a minute and tell you good night. Well, everybody, we just got back to the Airbnb, and it has been an action-packed day for us. It's, we've had a long drive down here and lots of walking, and we've done a lot of stuff today. So now it's time to call it a night, and that's what I'm going to do because we have an early start in the morning. We have scheduled ourselves full for tomorrow, and... Right just a few minutes ago, I got a huge surprise for me for Sunday. <laughs> so you're going to have to stay tuned and see what my surprise is for Sunday. I hope it all works out. If so, you guys, I hope we'll be so excited as I'm so excited for Sunday. So it may be a visitor coming to see me. So you just got to hang tight and see who it is and... Anyway, that's all I'm going to say. So, I am going to call it a night. Get my jammies on, wash my face, get it ready. I have a blank slate for in the morning because we're starting early tomorrow, which means you guys have got to come with us early in the morning. So, all right, good night. I'll see you next time. Remember, if the grease is hot enough, you can fry anything. Bye, y'all.